Hi, it's Katrina. From underwater tunnels that make you feel like you're walking in the ocean to encountering rare species, here are 11 of the world's biggest and most amazing aquariums. Number 11. The Aquarium of Western Australia The Aquarium of Western Australia, or Aqua, may not be one of the world's largest aquariums, but it certainly ranks among the most impressive, boasting Australia's largest single aquarium tank and walk-through tunnel. Located in Perth, it has a unique focus on regional marine species that are often absent from other aquariums. Their goal is to generate wonder and respect for the marine life of Western Australia. Aqua's Shipwreck Coast is a 130-foot-long walkthrough exhibit featuring some 4,000 marine species, including jellyfish, gray nurse sharks, smooth stingrays, loggerhead turtles, octopuses, rays, you name it! The privately owned facility's Coral Reef contains one of the world's largest living coral reef exhibits. Another fascinating display, called the Danger Zone, showcases some of Western Australia's most dangerous species, including stonefish, lionfish, cone shells, blue-ringed octopuses, sea snakes, and boxfish. Aqua also houses leafy sea dragons, juvenile saltwater crocodiles, moon jellyfish, clownfish, cuttlefish, scorpionfish, blacktip sharks, and more. The list is practically endless! Which animal would you want to see? Let me know in the comments below! With its fascinating array of creatures and interactive experiences, such as a guided dive through its shark tank, as well as an off-site safari, this offbeat aquarium proves that bigger is not always better. Number 10. Aqua Planet Jeju Located on Jeju Island in South Korea, Aqua Planet Jeju is known as the largest aquarium in East Asia. They house over 48,000 marine creatures representing the amazing biodiversity of the region, as well as species from around the world. They are also a museum and educational center, as well as an aquarium. They have exhibits with fish, of course, as well as ecosystems from rivers and lakes with seals, penguins, you name it. This aquarium is famous for housing two massive whale sharks that were caught in fishermen's nets and then brought to the aquarium. They came under fire for not being prepared to take on the extremely large animals, and one of them died in 2012. The Korea Federation for Environmental Movement of Jeju said the whale shark had died of extreme distress in captivity. It criticized the aquarium for holding both whales in a tank that was just too small. Whale sharks are the world's largest fish and are protected under the Convention for International Trade in Endangered Species. Whale sharks can grow up to 40 feet long, with the average being from 18 to 33 feet. Since the aquarium got them in a hurry, the tank was only 82 feet long by 75 feet wide and 28 feet high, and had some 8,000 other fish in there too. While very controversial, they brought many fascinated visitors seeking an up-close and personal glimpse at the creatures. Aquapark Jeju publicly apologized for the whale shark's death amid mounting pressure from the government and marine biologists and has since released the surviving whale shark into the ocean. Many people are very disappointed that the shark is no longer there, but they offer many educational and interactive experiences with animals. They also offer a special experience called Hyenyo, which is a diving performance done by women who dive about 16 to 65 feet, holding their breath for minutes at a time. And now for a place where you can sleep underwater! But first, what's your favorite aquarium you've ever been to? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you are new here! We'd love to have you! Number 9. Underwater Hotel Dubai The United Arab Emirates city of Dubai is renowned for its innovative, ultra-modern, upscale architecture. Hotels and aquariums are no exception, and in one case, these two very different types of buildings combine to form the Atlantis Dubai, where you can stay at an underwater suite with floor-to-ceiling windows facing the Ambassador Lagoon, a 3 million gallon aquarium featuring 65,000 marine creatures. Known as the Neptune Suite and the Poseidon Suite, the two underwater luxury rooms are located within the Atlantis The Palm Dubai Hotel, in case you want to make a reservation later. Measuring 1,776 square feet each, the three-story suites are equipped with private elevators leading to a lounge, which also boasts views of the aquarium. You can chill in your room while sharks, rays, and fish glide right past you. At a steep $8,167 per night, 
the Underwater Suites comes with 24-hour butler service, ensuring that guests do not need to leave their private marine paradise. After all, with a view like that, who would want to? Number 8. Shanghai Ocean Aquarium One of the world's longest underwater walk-through exhibits can be found at the Ocean Aquarium in Shanghai, China, which is home to a 551-foot-long viewing tunnel that takes visitors through a variety of exhibits and habitats. It is broken up into various zones, with each one focusing on different continents and countries, such as the China Zone, South America Zone, Africa Zone, and more. The China Zone features some of the region's rarest and most endangered marine creatures, including the Chinese sturgeon, mullet, Yangtze alligator, and giant salamander. The Ocean Aquarium is the only one in the world with a section dedicated specifically to Chinese marine life. Between all the zones, there are over 15,000 creatures encompassing some 300 species, including poison dart frogs, jellyfish, leafy sea dragons, moonfish, and emperor penguins. In addition to the spectacular view offered by the walkthrough tunnel, the aquarium's feeding times are published for the public to be able to enjoy watching the creatures as they eat. Visitors here have said that walking through the tunnel is like being in the ocean itself, and that the jellyfish exhibit is one of the most amazing things you have to see. Number 7. Lisbon Oceanarium The Lisbon Oceanarium in Portugal is the largest indoor aquarium in Europe. Opened in 1998, it features an expansive collection of marine animals like other aquariums, including penguins, seabirds, sea otters, sharks, rays, seahorses, crustaceans, sea corals, jellyfish, amphibians, and more. Their permanent exhibition has 8,000 sea creatures and 7 million liters of salt water. The main exhibit is a 1.3 million gallon tank featuring around 100 species from around the world, including barracudas, sharks, rays, groupers, and moray eels. Perhaps the most unique creature housed in the main exhibit is the sunfish, a species that is rarely featured in aquariums due to the intensive care and upkeep demands that are involved with keeping one of these fascinating creatures. The various other exhibits at the Lisbon Oceanarium focus on different parts of the globe, including the Antarctic coastline, the North Atlantic rocky coast, the tropical coral reefs of the Indian Ocean, and the Pacific Ocean's temperate zones. All the exhibits are separated by thin acrylic sheets, giving the illusion of one large tank, or one singular ocean. Besides education and conservation, they offer sleeping with the sharks, where kids can actually spend the night at the aquarium in front of the tanks. I would have loved to do this. Actually, I think I still want to do this. What about you? Let me know in the comments below. Number 6. L'Oceanographic One of the planet's most unusual aquariums is L'Oceanographic in Valencia, Spain, built by famous architect Félix Candela. Opened in 2003, the large building is divided into 10 areas focusing on different ecosystems, including Mediterranean habitats, the Red Sea, the Arctic Ocean, marshlands, islands, and the tropics. It is considered the largest aquarium in Europe and is part of a larger complex of arts and sciences. There's even a crocodile preserve as well as an exhibit called Mysteries of the Sea, which is dedicated to unusual and astonishing creatures. Altogether, the facility houses around 45,000 creatures from 500 different species, including penguins, dolphins, sea lions, walruses, birds, reptiles, and invertebrates. Some of the most incredible inhabitants are belugas. The aquarium complex is the largest of its type in Europe and is home to Europe's longest underwater viewing tunnel, and it has one of the largest dolphinariums in the world, with nearly 7 million gallons. Nearby is a 1.8 million gallon open ocean tank with 7 million liters, which contains sharks, rays, and other fish. Seawater from the nearby La Malva Rosa beach is continuously pumped into the aquarium saltwater exhibits, helping to make the various displays as authentic as possible. Number 5. Monterey Bay Aquarium The Monterey Bay Aquarium is located along California's central coast. It was originally designed to share the region's marine life with the public and inspire conservation of the ocean. It houses around 600 species, totaling roughly 35,000 specimens. To make the habitats as natural as possible, some of the exhibits are pumped with filtered seawater to the tune of 2,000 gallons per minute. 
One of the main focal points of the aquarium is its kelp forest, a nearly three-story tall exhibit that is largely considered to be the first to successfully maintain a living kelp forest in an artificial setting, defying scientists' early predictions that the endeavor would fail. The use of natural seawater is one of several factors that made the attempt at growing kelp successful, along with the use of natural sunlight. A second collection of exhibits called the Open Sea Wing opened in 1996 and focuses on the pelagic habitats located roughly 60 miles from shore. Consisting of three displays, the Open Sea Wing features regional species of jellyfish, plankton, and more, as well as migratory animals such as tufted puffins and sea turtles. The year the Monterey Bay Aquarium opened, it attempted to house a great white shark, but the apex predator refused to eat and passed away 11 days after arriving. Between 2004 and 2011, the aquarium made a second go at keeping great whites as part of its project White Shark. During that time, six specimens were brought into the open sea exhibit, but the project ultimately ended with some of the sharks being released back into the ocean after becoming too large for their tanks, acting aggressive toward their tank mates, or dying for unknown reasons. To date, the Monterey Bay Aquarium is the first to successfully exhibit a great white shark for more than 16 days. This aquarium is known for many pioneering programs in marine biology focusing on sea otters, great whites, octopuses, and making changes at the highest levels to fight for sustainable fishing practices. Number 4. Okinawa Churau Churaumi Located within the Okinawa Expo Park in Okinawa, Japan, the Churaumi Aquarium was the world's largest aquarium from late 2002 until late 2005. It was designed based on the theme, Encounter the Okinawan Sea, in honor of Okinawa's marine tradition and in hopes of reviving tourism in the area. The four-story facility contains 77 tanks featuring deep-sea creatures, sharks, and tropical fish. There are 80 coral species which receive natural sunlight and grow just as they would in nature, spawning every year since 2001. Its saltwater exhibits are continuously pumped with water from the nearby sea, adding a uniquely authentic spin on these exhibits. The Churaumi Aquarium's main tank, called the Kuroshio Sea, contains nearly 2 million gallons of water and is around 33 feet deep. It showcases whale sharks and manta rays, and in 2007, the aquarium saw the first ever captive birth of a manta ray. It's also the site of the first attempt at keeping whale sharks, courtesy of its predecessor, the Okinawa Expo Park, which initiated the practice in 1980. You know it didn't go so well in South Korea, but this aquarium remains one of few throughout the world that still exhibits the species and even hopes to breed them, a feat that has never been accomplished in captivity. Number 3. Georgia Aquarium When the Georgia Aquarium opened in 2005, it was the world's largest aquarium. Today, it's the biggest aquarium in the U.S. and the Western Hemisphere. Located in Atlanta, it boasts over 10 million gallons of water and around 120,000 specimens belonging to 500 species from around the world. Altogether, there are over 60 habitats and 7 themed galleries and exhibits. Visitors can observe amazing animals such as beluga whales, hammerhead sharks, black-footed penguins, California sea lions, bottlenose dolphins, manta rays, and even whale sharks, their pride and joy. In fact, the Georgia Aquarium is the only facility outside Asia and just one out of four in the entire world that features the massive marine creatures. Its largest exhibit and main attraction is its 6.3 million gallon whale shark exhibit, which houses four specimens that were caught and transported from Taiwan before a ban on capturing the endangered species went into effect. The Georgia Aquarium is also one of four aquariums in the world that house manta rays, with three currently living at the facility. Number 2. Sea Aquarium The Sea Aquarium is one of two main attractions at the Marine Life Park in southern Singapore. It contains 50 habitats housing over 100,000 creatures of around 1,000 species, and until 2014, it was the world's largest aquarium by volume, with over 12 million gallons of water. The aquarium's centerpiece is its nearly 5 million gallon, 27-foot-tall open ocean tank, which houses roughly 50,000 animals, including gentle giants such as manta rays and leopard sharks. 
In fact, the facility contains the world's largest manta ray collection, including a giant oceanic manta ray, one of just a few captive specimens of its type throughout the world. Other residents include two dozen Indo-Pacific bottlenose dolphins, scalloped hammerhead sharks, white-spotted jellyfish, giant Pacific octopus, a Japanese spider crab, guitar fish, and the chambered nautilus. In addition to the sea aquarium, the 20-acre site is home to the Adventure Cove Water Park, featuring seven water slides, the world's first hydromagnetic coaster, and numerous other aquatic attractions. If you go here, be sure you stay for a few days because it looks like there's a lot to do. Number 1. Chimelong Ocean Kingdom The Chimelong Ocean Kingdom, located on the Chinese island of Hengqing in Guangdong province, became the world's largest aquarium when it opened in 2014, boasting a cumulative 12.87 million gallons of fresh and saltwater exhibits. It's so big, it's virtually impossible to experience the entire facility in one day. Did I mention the aquarium is situated in a large resort with three hotels, a movie theater, circus, and several roller coasters? There's a lot going on! The park's stadiums and exhibits are named after the individuals that they feature and include the Whale Shark Aquarium, Dolphin Conservation Center, Beluga Theater, Mount Walrus, Dolphin Cove, and Seabird Paradise, just to name a few. Altogether, Ocean Kingdom occupies 353 acres, making it about as big as Disney's Magic Kingdom. The world's largest aquarium tank, which cost around $1 billion to build, is inside the Whale Shark Aquarium, where visitors can see sea turtles, manta rays, and the elusive whale shark. Ocean Kingdom's decision to house whale sharks is controversial, same as with all the other aquariums. And so is its vast number of cetaceans, including the 279 bottlenose dolphins that reportedly live there, according to a 2016 report by the International League of Conservation Photographers featured in National Geographic. The organization also alleged that the aquarium imported animals at a shockingly high rate, presumably to replace rapidly dying specimens who supposedly suffered from depression and the lack of a natural diet. Nevertheless, Ocean Kingdom is just one example of China's burgeoning aquarium and marine park industry, leaving conservationists to wonder how far companies will go to cater to tourism and entertainment demands for captive wildlife in the country. People love aquariums, and much hard work and education for conservation is done there, but on the other side, it is hard to know how far they might go for profit. Thanks for watching! Which aquarium was your favorite? Have you ever been to any of them? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! See you soon!